And so we've got Anthony Ryder from South Lyon, Michigan, recently selected as the Lions 2020 Fan of the Year. He has a passion about sports broadcasting. With the 112th selection in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Amon Ross St. Brown, wide receiver, USC. One cry, baby! Brad Holmes, Dan Campbell, and the rest of the Detroit Lions organization has been phenomenal at finding talent and finding production at every single level of the NFL draft, whether it be in round one, on night two, on day three, or even in the undrafted rookie free agency pool. The Detroit Lions have found a ton of talent over the last four off seasons. But one position that they seem to hit on more than any other is actually the tight end position. Now that may have something to do with Dan Campbell being a former tight end himself, but for whatever reason, every single time the Detroit Lions have their eyes on a tight end prospect, they typically tend to work out. Whether it be Sam Laporta, the second round selection from two seasons ago, who in his rookie year was a second team all pro, having nearly nine receiving yards, being second all time in rookie receiving touchdowns and having more receptions than any rookie tight end in history, or whether it be later in the draft, a guy like Brock Wright, an undrafted rookie free agency who for a couple of years was the tight end one for the Detroit Lions. And just this offseason signed a two year, three year, $12 million contract with the Lions or another undrafted rookie free agent, Shane Zalstra, who in 2022 had four touchdown grabs to contribute to the Lions passing attack. And actually, I believe, led the Detroit Lions tight ends in touchdowns that season. Every single year, they seem to find production from tight ends. That may have something to do with Ben Johnson being a tight ends coach. That may have something to do with Dan Campbell being a tight end himself. But every single year, a tight end breaks out on the Detroit Lions. And this year, I think the Lions may have found their next star tight end in undrafted rookie free agency. Now that tight end, of course, is going to be BYU's Isaac Rex, the six foot five, two hundred and forty seven pound tight end from BYU. Now Isaac Rex, despite having really great size for the tight end position, does have quite a few athletic flaws and isn't nearly as athletic as you would want him to be. Now he did put up twenty four reps on the bench press, which is pretty impressive for a tight end, but. Outside of that, his speed, explosiveness, and agility scores were all pretty bottom of the draft class. He ran a 4.94 40-yard dash, which is not very good. He had a five-second shuttle time, which is one of the worst times ever recorded at the tight end position. And his 27-inch vertical, once again, was a very poor time for the combine as well. However, what makes Isaac Rex such an interesting prospect, despite the fact that he's not really that strong, despite the fact that he's not really that fast, that explosive, that agile, is that over the last four seasons, nobody, and I mean nobody in the ACC, has been more productive than Isaac Rex, as over the last four seasons, Isaac Rex has held in 112 receptions, which is the most among ACC tight ends in that time, has totaled 1,385 receiving yards, which again is the most of an ACC tight end in that time span, as well as hauling in 24 touchdowns, which as you guessed, is also number one among ACC tight ends over the last four seasons. Nobody, and I mean nobody in the ACC has been more productive at the tight end position over the last four seasons than BYU's Isaac Rex. And I think that there's a big reason as to why the Lions wanted him as an undrafted rookie free agent. Now, with that being said, a majority of his production actually came in his first year playing tight end, where he was catching passes from soon to be second overall pick Zach Wilson at BYU, where he had over 12 receiving touchdowns in a single season. Now, unfortunately, Isaac Rex did have an ankle injury. He broke his ankle in the 2021 season. And unfortunately, it seems as though Isaac Rex has not recovered 
from that ankle injury. It is an unfortunate thing to see, but it does seem as though Isaac Rex really hasn't been the same since that injury. He has been medically cleared to play. He has been back playing football for over two seasons now since that injury occurred, but the explosiveness that he showed early on in his career, the big playability that he showed early on in his career really seems to have gone to the wayside as he just hasn't seemed to really gain back that explosiveness. Hasn't really seemed to gain back that big playability that he showed early. And despite being very productive over the last three seasons of his NFL career, it really seems like he hasn't ever quite been able to reach back to that point that he was as a freshman at BYU a few seasons ago. Now, that being said, that doesn't necessarily mean that Isaac Rex is going to be a bad football player, and that doesn't necessarily mean that he's not going to be impactful for the Detroit Lions. Obviously, they see something in the young tight end, and they believe that he can be an undrafted free agent and try out for the football team. Now, some of the things that I do like about Isaac Rex is obviously he's a very big tight end. Being six foot five, 250 pounds means that he has a lot of size to throw around, meaning that he is able to throw DBs off, meaning he is able to box out defensive backs. And more times than not, he is going to outmuscle a wide receiver. He's going to outmuscle a defensive back to the football. Pair his gigantic size with his strong hands, and he will have the recipe for a really, really strong receiving tight end. A guy that when the ball is thrown his way, when the ball hits him in the hands, very rarely does that ball fall away. Very rarely does that ball hit the ground because every time Isaac Rex is targeted, that ball is caught. Whether there is a DB on his back, whether there is contact, whether there is, you know, a bad throw, Isaac Rex grabs the football every single time time out of the air. His reception ability, his ability to catch any football placed in his catch radius is really, really impressive. And I do believe is a big reason as to why the Detroit Lions wanted him as an undrafted rookie free agent. Now, despite not having the most explosive speed, despite not having the biggest size, and despite not being the most explosive, Isaac Rex surprisingly actually has quite a bit of yak ability for a player that you wouldn't expect based off of his athletic numbers. Now, when I say yak ability, I'm not necessarily talking about like the Brock Bowers or Sam Laporta yak ability, right? He's not going to break off a 30, 40, 50 yard touchdown. But what he can do is when the ball is thrown into the flats, when the ball is given to him right at the line of scrimmage, he's able to turn up field really quickly and he's able to break a tackle or two to pick up an extra four to five yards on the day or on the catch, which for Lions fans who may have nightmares about this, remember that that is probably the reason the Lions lost the NFC Championship game, or at least one of the reasons, is when the ball was thrown into the flats, Anthony Frisker wasn't able to turn up quick enough. He wasn't able to get upfield quick enough, leading to a tackle at the one-yard line, leading to a run to play and a wasted timeout, and leading to essentially the game being over for the Detroit Lions. Isaac Rex doesn't really have that problem. Isaac Rex is able to turn up field really quickly. He's able to, you know, get four to five extra yards on the play. And personally, even with his lack of explosiveness and speed, I do believe that if Isaac Rex was in that situation, not only would he make the catch in the flat, but we might be celebrating right now because I think he would have gotten into the end zone on that play. So at the very least, I do think he has the receiving upside to be a quality tight end for a potentially depth practice squad guy if injuries do arise. But I also think that Isaac Rex has a really good understanding of spatial awareness on the field. For a guy that doesn't separate very well on man, he is very smart and very strategic about where he settles in between zones. He knows where zone defenders are going to be. He knows where the gaps between the zones are. He's always in the right spot to give his quarterback that safety blanket. Always in the right spot to be that security blanket for his quarterback. And I think that's a big reason as to why he had so many receptions, as to why he had so many yards, as to why he had so many touchdowns is because he just understands where to be. He understands where the football is going to be. He understands where he has to be. And he's always in the right spot to get that reception, always in the right spot to get that touchdown, always in the right spot to pick up a first down, to move the chains, to score six for his offense. And that is a really good trait to have, right? Always getting the football and always making big plays is a great quality for a tight end to have. So even if he isn't going to be out there every single play, even if he's a practice squad player that gets called up because of injury, I do think this is a guy that can be a security blanket for a for a quarterback. This is a guy that, you know, can haul in probably 20, 
30 receptions in a season. And he might not have more than 200 yards, but he also could be a great red zone threat and have three, four, five touchdowns in a season and help the red zone offense of the Detroit Lions. Now, unfortunately, he's not really the greatest blocker, meaning he's really more of a red zone threat in that's about it. Like he doesn't have a whole lot more to add to an offense other than short yardage and red zone situations. But for an undrafted rookie free agent, that's really all you can ask, right? You're not going to get Brock Bowers an undrafted rookie free agent. So find a guy that's really good at one thing. Find a guy that has strong hands, a big frame, and can get into the end zone and sign that guy to a contract. And that's the kind of player that the Detroit Lions have with Isaac Rex. But with all of that being said, that is my breakdown and analysis of the newest undrafted rookie tight end. Will he join the ranks of Sam Laporta, Brock Wright, and Shane Zalstra as one of the better undrafted rookie free agents of the class? Or will he fall to the wayside potentially be a practice squad or a cut eligible player time will tell but for right now i do think there's a chance for isaac rex to not only make the roster or make the practice squad but potentially have an impact a couple of years down the road but with all of that being said, that's all I got for you guys right now. Let me know down in the comments below how you feel about Isaac Rex, what you think about the prospect and the player. And of course, let me know if you think he will make the roster come roster cut down. I'd be very curious what you guys have to say. But with all of that being said, that is all I for you guys right now. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, and as always, go Lions.